Welcome to our demonstration of creating a Microsoft SQL Server always on database backup job using VMware vSphere Data Protection Advanced. We begin by selecting Backup Job Actions and clicking New. Select Applications and click Next. Here we have the option to back up the full server or selected databases. Note that full server means all of the databases on the server. In our case, we wish to specify a single database for backup, so we choose Selected Databases and click Next. Note that VDP Advanced protects standalone SQL Server databases, failover clusters, and always on clusters. Our customer's database in this example is hosted in an always on cluster. We click the arrows to expand the list, select the customer's database, and click Next. Here we see the advanced options for backing up SQL Server databases with VDP Advanced. Backup types include full, differential, and incremental. It is possible to select the availability group replica that will be backed up. The replica options are primary, prefer secondary, secondary only, and SQL Server defined. It is also possible to enable multi-stream backups and specify when database logs are truncated. Click Next. A schedule must be defined for the backup job. This backup job will run daily at 4 a.m. Click Next. A retention policy for the backup job must also be set. There are several options for defining a retention policy. We will keep the default of 60 days and click Next. Last, we give the backup job a name, click Next, and click Finish. The backup job has been created successfully. Click OK. The backup job will run automatically at 4 a.m. To run a backup job manually, select the backup job, click Backup Now, select Backup All Sources, and click OK. After the backup job is complete, we can see that it ran successfully. This concludes our demonstration of creating a Microsoft SQL Server always on database backup job using VMware vSphere Data Protection Advanced. Thank you.